just like in general other stuff because even though Chat, she want to get tied up <laughs> yo don't lie she want to have that that gag in her for what the fuck <laughs> don't lie don't lie now let's see what you have to say Can't, like, there's certain times you have to bite your tongue when it comes to like in a relationship. Like I want, I want. That's an intro. One. I've faked an orgasm with my partner. That's crazy. I still find that crazy that people do that. Like that's some porno shit. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Wait, wait, wait. No. no. Yes. I knew. I yo, you can't do that with a man. Technically, you can't fake an orgasm with a man. Like, not with a man, I mean, as a man. How can you fake coming? <laughs> but with a girl, you can. That's fucked, bro. I'm gonna be real, you're fucked up. You're fucked up, you do that to your partner. Guys, I've done that dick was that dead. <laughs> that, is. that makes sense. To dive you've done it. Orgasm. You were my first, like, so in the very oh. the beginning of our relationship, yeah. I just, I, it was hard for me to get into it yeah, in thought. like the beginning. Did you know, first of all? That I did, I did. Oh, you I knew did. she faked oh, it? She, yeah, oh, I did, okay. I did. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's pretty fake, so. I, do, I don't fake it now, I promise. We met during high school, like sophomore year. We've been together for four years. And His hair is fire. What the fuck? Jenny. Um, he actually was not very good at the beginning. He sucked in the beginning? Not anymore though. Not anymore more though. Damn. I, I think that I, was I, like, I like how I like how open and honest she's already been. I like that. That's what you have to be. You have to be transparent in a relationship, chat. You have to. Otherwise, you're not getting anywhere. But if your if your partner's saying, "Yeah, that shit was dead," like like, no, if your partner's faking it and she's not telling you that it's dead, yeah, you can't lie. Why are you even fucking him at this point? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Life right now. You might as well fuck yourself with a with a fat dildo at this point. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I was very pretty compatible, but when we first started dating, like four or five months in, yeah, I was doing that for like yeah. that. She was faking orgasm for four or five months. Now she was definitely like, think, like she was she was pleasuring herself in another way. There's no way she nah, four or five months. Yo, how do you how do you how do you manage? That must be like terrible. Like, how could you do that for four or five months? And he did he clock on? He must have known. That time period. Hmm. This guy's like, well, the booty. If my partner asked me, uh, be honest, be honest, man. Come on okay, now. Okay, make your split decision. Roman eat. And us come three, on, Roman eat us, bro. All one. Roman eat that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh no, woman on. I can't know. Realistic women aren't doing that shit. Turn around. Very I know. Oh I see a demon. Very interesting. <laughs> I need I need a woman to do that. <laughs> Yo, the one who says I'm yes. For the little ass action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have y'all done it? No. no. Do you want him to ask? <laughs> oh no? shit. Okay. No. Ladies, no? I mean, he asked you to. He's he's asking you, taking the initiative. Like, now hey, the woman's crazy. He already did. He already did. I have asked. And I said, asked. Your life is flagged for sexually suggestive content. Oh, yo, it's why, yo, TikTok. Ask, so. No success. We've been together for nearly 11 months now, and we met through Hinge. Hinge success story. Hinge. I spent a long time trying to find like the perfect thing to say to catch her attention, and uh, I got I got lucky. Is that some American shit? My partner were more kinky and would take more risks in bed. Make your split decisions in three, two, a one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> what kinks? Just like in general, other stuff because. Even though she want to get tied up, <laughs> yo, don't lie. She want to have that that gag in her for it. <laughs> don't lie. Don't lie now. Let's see what you have to say. Oh, I do want it to be intimate. There are times where I do want it to be like, whoa, 
Ooh. Yeah, she yeah, told you. I told you that. She wanna get fucked. She wanna get crushed like yo. <laughs> Bro shit. <laughs> she wanna get fucked. You know, like a little some costumes, oh, some costume. toys. Yeah, I mean, toys. I like to dress up. I like lingerie. I feel like that would be that would make me I feel like just by looking at someone you can see how plain they are. I don't know why. Feel sexier. Tell us, tell what us. Are you, you agree. For? What are you asking for? <laughs> huh? What do you want to feel? Uh, what do you want? Yeah, you chat to them. Hmm. I don't know. We've been together for almost five years now. I They've done I everything, a, I reckon. I have a thing for maybe like yeah. bums. Bum. I don't even know if Bum. I can say this. <laughs> Bum. <laughs> maybe like doing stuff in public. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> It's it's like the it's like the 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 fear factor. That's why people like doing that shit in public. It's like, oh, what about if someone catches us? Like, and it's like people like that shit. It's like adrenaline rushing. Like that's a that's a big like fetish yeah. of mine. They've yeah. never done that. Um, <laughs> have you told have you told them this? <laughs> that's fine. Do stuff in public. What you mean is like public but in private in the same time. Yeah, what like. Do you mean? Oh, so she wanna? She, oh, I see. So she wanna go into a toilet. And get like, you know what I mean? <laughs> in, people can see in, you like, right a bathroom no, people stall, can't see you. like okay. in like a hidden spot on the beach, like. Oh no 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 no! Yo, don't get me like yo. Like that type of vibe. Elevators. I think we have done a lot of that actually. Okay. Wow. But you want more? <laughs> she she's done it in the elevator. <laughs> All right. Is she a demon. Um, I feel like we're both in the same place when it comes to getting kinkier. Um, I definitely want to explore, like everybody said, toys and costumes. And he looks like I, a rabbit. I do like being swept on my feet, and I know he'd like to see me in like a schoolgirl outfit. I just want like to take it to the next level. Really, like taking advantage of our bodies. I'm like, this is mine. Like, I'm gonna show oh. you, like, this is mine. I want to be dominated. Oh, like, oh, oh! <laughs> so he's not, he's not like that. He's telling me, yo. You need a black man now. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> what? You need me. <laughs> I didn't need direction with that. I like I want I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with. So you're a little scared to like make You scared to choke her. Make that move? Yes. Okay, well I've been waiting for you to make that move. <laughs> you shouldn't tell me to make the move. I should make the move. I will make the move. <laughs> We've been dating for a little over a year now. She used to date one of my best friends in high school. Oh, so you got the leftover. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> yeah. That man are all taking a piece of that pie. I don't want to know how many of your best friends she went through. <laughs> then they uh, kind of broke up and um, I saw your together best ever since. Yeah. I saw your best friend. You better, better not be best friend to them. Than my partner. Ooh. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Say yes. Say yes. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. <laughs> oh shit, I laugh. Yes, okay. Oh, this guy was. Uh, oh my god. Live access room. Like, bro, I don't get it. I can go, I can go at one, apparently. Fucking hell, man. Suggestive content. What the fuck am I like? What am I suggesting, man? Yo, it's just a vid, like. <laughs> you get it? 80. You're, you TikTok's both think weird. you're this better sex than the other person. Ooh, okay. Um, I want to hear more. I said yes because I seem to initiate it more. And, oh. And I feel that like doesn't, that doesn't mean you're better. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I'm always putting myself out there, and I'm always, you know, trying to try new things, even if alcohol is not involved. That doesn't mean you're. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're. Wait, they just be fucking when they. They never fuck when they're sober. Um, and you are kind of just passive in the moment, and I don't mind it, but I would like more initiative. I will say that you do definitely have um, more of the uh, initiative side down, 
but I think that the uh, the, the overall act. Of, Ooh. Um, <laughs> the act. He be he be crushing the it. The act of lovemaking. Um, I have pretty pretty down. But to be fair, I am a lot easier, and you are a lot more difficult. What do you mean he's more difficult? <laughs> he's more difficult to make finish. It, it oh. takes a while. It takes a long time. If she was better at it, would it last? Oh, yo. Yes. Oh, he said it straight up. That's true. When we first started dating, it definitely was much shorter because it was new, it was fun, and not that it's bad or anything like that. Um, but hey. like, it's she's, now she's I, giving me that devil like stare right now. And it's just it takes me a while. Maybe is that why you don't initiate? See, does he want? Because it's not as good as maybe it once was. No, that's not why. Well, maybe get out of the groove and try new things with me. Ooh, that's true. And do what I want to do, and we won't have this problem. Okay, okay. This is why you take the lead, though. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Sh Sh what do you want to do that he's not doing? This is, this is intense, bro. I want everything to be different or different positions. Like Yeah, but it's not always about you, man. You have to find a balance, you get me? It's not, <laughs> she's saying, I want, I want this, I want that. What about him? <laughs> you feel me, like, yo? He's the one that's having to crush you, like, yo. Like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You guys just do one position right now, it's just missionary. It just, it falls back into that and I don't want to just sit there. We, we rotate. Yo, Sometimes. Might... Sometimes. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> you might be doing doggy. Alondra, that's you're crazy. better at sex, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I was his first, so there wasn't a lot to work with at the beginning. Ooh. I feel like we have kind of the opposite problem from them. I feel like he wants to have like sex and I don't, wants, I want it to be more intimate. Sex. This guy, what is, what is sex? What you see on porn or something or like in movies, yeah. I want it to feel want... like he loves me. I don't want it to just Damn. Like me. I, I, see, I, see. I want maybe a balance of both. I do feel like I'm kind of more the- She's the one that said she wants, she wants to literally like get, like she wants to use more toys. She wants to basically get dominated been minded one too. I'm like, okay, well maybe we can, you know, throw some of this, throw some of that in there. I put no, cause like she said, I was, she was my first. Mm -hmm. Like the first time I was like, I, I already knew what was gonna happen, you know? So I was like, how can I make this memorable? So before then I put like Kung Fu Panda on. So I could be like, that's my movie right there, you know? It's gonna be you my put Kung movie. Fu Panda on, you had, you made love to her with Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Black spinning sticks. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Cause it's memorable, you know? It's, yep. And then like 30 seconds later, it's, it's all over. At most. Yeah. The second time I was like, oh, I'm gonna beat this. You know, I can't, yeah. I can't be a- I'm gonna put on Shrek instead. No, no. Maybe 10 seconds and I'm like, oh, damn. 10 seconds, you were worse the second Yo. time. We've been together for a year That's and tough. 10 months. We were co-workers. I was 10 seconds. And he had been there a while. And 10 he seconds. ignored me. Oh yeah, I was just nervous. Um, yeah. He says he was nervous. I was like, oh, you know, like, do you have a girlfriend? And he was like, no. I was like, perfect, you have one now. I'm gonna be your girlfriend. <laughs> I think my partner needs to lose weight or exercise more. Ooh! Make your split I, I, I'm pre-fired it, chat. The, the guy at the end is gonna say it. He's gonna do it, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Two. <laughs> he's gonna do one. it, he's gonna say yeah. Here we go. And turn around. She said yes. She, they all said yes. Lose weight or exercise more. Oh. Okay. At least they hey. both agree. <laughs> There's some ones that don't. Yes. Oh, Done. the only guy though. That... <laughs> right. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're fat or whatsoever. Just basically, we should move around more. It's funny that you're saying that because I've been begging you to go to the gym with me. So you don't like working out? I don't find joy. But you want me to work out. Okay, so cool. No, no, not work out, not work out, but like, you know, move. I feel like it's, it, if you got someone to go with, yo, it's going to be amazing. I'm real. They're gonna, each one will uplift each other. You're good. You're gonna wanna work out. Just move more. Move around more. Most of the time, she only goes to the gym. To go with. I say yes, sure, we'll go to the gym. Yeah, because I as wanna well. go to the gym with you. Going to the gym is very, as a woman, it's yeah. it's very nerve wracking. That's true. Because like, you just feel like, like a lot of men are like staring at you. Yeah. So going with I a partner agree. just makes me feel like a hundred times better. That's why I want you to go with me so bad. And you've asked him to go with you? I've, I asked him many times. Oh, like, how come you haven't gone? Every week. Well, she also asked me in the four, four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Devin has been telling me so many times, I want to get back to the gym, but he never goes. Mm. Devin, how does that make you feel? I mean, not good. <laughs> it makes me feel a bit lazy, you know, because I've been promising, you know, to get bigger and, 
get bigger muscles and stuff for months now. And I, I, I mean, I started, I did start going for a few months and then I just got lazy again. Shady, you say yes. Anthony, you say no. Um, I feel like we've been dating for a year now, so. Um, You've been cooking him too much. We've like, gotten that relationship way and now we're more comfortable with each other. Okay. And you complain about <laughs> gaining a little bit of weight. Well, I, I just have a little bit of a dad gut, but. My partner is the most confident person I've ever dated. Mm. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. No! She went no! And go ahead and turn around. Oh, shit. Okay. Interesting. Three of the gentlemen say yes. Three of the ladies say no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alondra, let's start with you. I said no because I think he's like he's very perfect in my eyes, but he always has something negative to say about himself. Oh, you know, just I hate like people like that. Yo, how can he? I, I can't like. How are you falling in love with a man like that? He may be a soulmate, but bro, like, I know so. I know. I know a specific individual like that, man. Like how amazing they are, and they always they always have to say they always have to down. What's what's the opposite of down? Is it downlift? I don't even know. Or just be negative about themselves, even though they're an amazing person. Looking at Should him, be annoying. he has a, a lot of good qualities, a lot of good features on him. But he doesn't and see he that doesn't himself. Think he's that attractive. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, have you seen yourself in the mirror? Like you are very attractive. Anything you want to say to that? Okay, so I've only ever dated one other person before her. Um, it was an online, or I mean long distance. We're pretty much the same, I guess. Very anxious and like low self-esteem and whatever. But like, like seeing her do the things she um, does, like it, it, it inspires me because I want to be more like her. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, just, just it's a little growing like... to do. Extremely, extremely nervous though. I just want to be more like her in that, in that regard, you know, she's, she's just amazing, so. Mm -hmm. They both. Jenny, da I Devin they, that's is a the balance, most right there. Person you have ever been with, but Devin, Jenny is not the that's most person no. you've ever been with. No. 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 Big no. Okay. Like, where is she at? One to ten. I would say, honestly, I would say you're at like a like a six, like a five or a six. Mm. And I think we could we could probably move that on up. Wait, to where like where a, do you feel you are? What's your one to ten? A three. A three. A three. Mm -hmm. I think I think for me it's like my upbringing, where I where I'm from. Um, uh, I grew up in Asia. Yeah, it's Asia. the language barrier as well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Takahashi, I get it. All right. Uh. Been there, my friends. Okay. Yeah, and but he's the most confident you've ever been with. Yeah, yeah. I like it though. How many, how many guys have you been with? <laughs> oh, she's been there a lot. That's my fourth boyfriend. Fourth. Okay. And what's what's that's not crazy. One to ten. I would say he's a uh, nine. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy looks shocked. He's like, yo, shit. You see how they go? The Asians, they like the blonde hair, blue eyes. They like that shit. Wow, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. One of these, all right. All right, let's, go on to move, let's move on to the next question, everybody. My family approves of my partner. Oh. Because decisions in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. Okay, everyone's yes. No. no. Yeah, oh. I, I came from a very, very cultural yeah. Um, family. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, my parents were ex definitely expecting me to date my own race mm. in a way. So, besides Asians that, a lot are yo different as well. That my family very, not very go well. when it comes to their race. Is that still going on? They still don't. Still going on. Still working on it at the moment for me. How does that make you feel? It, think, it's been the, probably the hardest thing that we ever had to go through. They're not very open. Sure. Just because. I want so bad to be accepted. Yeah. Um, you don't. You don't need that, man. And one day, hopefully, have a relationship with your family. Yeah. And then it also like just brings a lot of insecurity. The fact they're married as well. Wait, did, did like, they not come to the wedding? Not like good enough. And it, to a point, it kind of started to make me question if I'm accepted too, in a way, Ooh. because of the relationship as well. That's it's true. It's been tough for that. That's very yeah. true. Biggest mountain we ever got to climb. And you say no as well. What's the story? Well, I say no because my mom, she's like very old traditional, like 
Mexican mom, Mexican. and she expects a lot from I, I thought she was Indian. my partner, regardless of who they are. She really expects a lot. Like she needs them to kind of work their entire life, work away. Mm. The only thing they think about is like working and not it's anything outside of that. And the she man is supposed her. to take care of everything. I mean, I haven't told him this, but my mom thinks that he has a lot of free time and she hates that. I mean, she likes him as a person because he's a really good person, but she just feels like he should be more, like, man. How do you all feel about those, you know, traditional Ooh, gender that's norms? That's Like what we're talking about right here. Definitely, it's very traditional, um, though. For me and Anthony, we're very not based on that. Um, for the longest time, I was working two jobs and I was bringing in the income and taking care of rent while he was, you know, not working as much and waiting for a promotion so he can get to that step. But I do believe like a relationship is it's whatever balance. you can it's get. A balance. It's not all 100%, it's not you know, just 50-50. It's if I come home one day and I worked really hard and I'm too tired to do the dishes, he's gonna come in and do the dishes. Mm. There's a political mm. issue that my ah. partner and I will never agree on. I agree, I agree on that. Bro, I, I can't lie bro, I would, even, I would even speak about political stuff with my girl. I mean, it's just a waste of time. I don't even know why people do that shit, man. Bro, why do you care so much? I know it's a country that you live in, but bro, bro. Like, I couldn't really do a fuck, I'll be real. Okay. Anthony. What's going on? Well, whenever it kind of comes to politics, I feel like we're kind of a different mindset because of how we were like raised different mindset yeah different mindset mm. I, she's very um anti-government mm. i'm not anti-government i'm just i'm kind of like he's a fed. i wish the government worked more for us okay i didn't know that we disagreed on that so i'm over here um i don't want to live in california i don't want to live in the united states i don't like the government and you know what we have going on right now the diversity is I, is great, but it's just causing more and more problems. My dream is to like run away, live in a forest, oh. survive off of my own abilities, mm -hmm. like be self-efficient. I don't want to live in the United States. You might and if it was up to me, I wouldn't. But you thought you were on the same page about that? I thought, yeah, I thought we agreed that, you know, we would move away and, you know, the government. It would be nice, but I don't... Do you want to move to a forest? No, or... he doesn't. No one does. I like my air conditioning. <laughs> I like my video games. Alondra, you say yes. Well, I was stuck in between yes and no because I'm, I don't feel like it's an actual issue, but um, I'm not completely against abortion. I just oh. don't think, I guess it's fair to the life inside of you. I know a lot of people say it's not life. To me, in my conscience, it's life. Even if you have a 30 Oh, chance, okay. Is that political? I guess that is political. When it comes to that, yeah, I'll be real. Each to their own. I, 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 on that, on that thing, on that behalf, each their own. It's very um, religious that 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 abortion shit. And there is a lot of Christians that believe that it's not really life if it's a certain amount of what is it months? Is it a month or like a week? A couple of weeks? But I can't like if there's I can't like if a girl gets RP'd, chat. I can't say it on Twitch, but if if she literally gets RP'd, you're like, come on now. At this point, like, you got a leak, like, some people just, and there's certain, there's certain people in the world, I, like, I always, I will stand by this, there's certain people in this world that don't deserve to have kids. They don't, they don't deserve to bring kids into this world. Because of how shit they are as parents. And then also the the girl the girl that gets RP'd will not obviously have a far there there won't be no father figure single mother maybe it could it could it could block she the the child could blossom into something amazing but I'm just saying it's gonna have trauma at this point it's gonna because the trauma is gonna the, the trauma from the mum is gonna project be projected onto the baby ta -ta 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 -ta. something might I don't know. Or even if I have a thirty percent, and also single mothers, they're they're more they're more likely to get me for their for their kid to be in jail if it's a boy. It's literally a statistic, chat. Percent chance of dying. So I, I don't know, man. I I feel like in that in, in that sense, when it comes to abortion, there there's there's limits to it.
like if you if that literally happens to you like and they don't want it and you're saying no because it's a life in your eyes that's fucked i think that's fucked like i want i think every god gave us free will for a reason and if that's your if your will is to really get rid of that baby like i mean I want my baby to live mm. when we brought that up i was like what if i got pregnant and i had a 30 percent chance of dying like would you be would break up with me if i aborted it and she was like yeah and i'm like damn wait wait what did he say when we brought that up, I was like, what? I know a lot of people say it's not life. To me, in my conscience, it's life. Even if you have a 30... We brought that up, I was like... Or even if I have a 30% chance of dying, like, I want my baby to live. Mm. When yeah, that's crazy. I'm a... I'm gonna be... That's crazy, then. That, I know... I, yo, that's crazy, then. I'm not even like... That is insane. 30%? You're fucked. I'm, I'm not like you're fucked. You... 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 you no, nah, man. I know having a baby is precious, but like, come on now. If you only have a 30% of living, you would rather, come on. When we brought that up, I was like, what if I got pregnant and I had a 30% chance of dying? Like, would you be, would break up with me if I aborted it? And she was like, yeah, and I'm like, damn. Yeah, oh, true. you would break up with him if he aborted the baby? I would. I wouldn't want it's to his be with someone that doesn't agree with me on that stance because mm. it's also my child. I would. Are you okay that. that he's okay with it? No. I don't like that. But it's your, your, your. I love how they say it's my child. I understand you're carrying it, but you have to understand he's the father. He's the one that impregnated you. He's the one that was able to even for it to even happen, the sperm to get to the the egg. And you're saying he's he's not got a say in it because I believe it's a lie. They're not even going to come to a common ground, which I think is just very selfish. Bernice, Andrew. um. During quarantine with the whole BLM, it was like really affecting my community the most with like police br brutality oh, yeah. and everything that was going on. That shit was a trend. It was sad. It's sad to see. It was actually a trend. A I trend. felt like it was hard for you to understand or like really understand how um, important it was to me to like go oh, to of these course, protests yeah, he's not... and really like be there for my community. Yeah. It was kind of hard for you to understand how much that meant Wait, to me. What did I disagree on again on that one? Um, it I was. Forgot. It was two years, three years. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was. It was just some like it felt like you were you were telling me like oh well you know you shouldn't be going to these protests because like they're dangerous or they were like they they weren't dangerous the protests that I was going to like they weren't right. I don't think I say anything. it was dangerous. Hmm? I don't think I say it was dangerous. What did you well, say? I was we were, trying to like you well, know understand her intention of going to the protest like get mm -hmm. your head straight before you action act on something yeah i don't want you to go act on something without getting your head straight in mm -hmm. a way what do you mean by that by understanding your intention why are you going what are and what am i gaining out of this some questions i never even thought about i'll be real the protest didn't uh, even though it was good that they were all grouping up a, a black community grouping up to, to something that happened bro i'll be real they gained nothing out of it the only people that gained shit out of it were the people that set up blm they made bread out of it they brought houses off it you get me? They're the only ones that really benefit. That, that was all a trend. People putting black, like the black, taking a picture of a black screen and then putting it on IG. Bro, what is that supposed to be? Come on now. That's not going to do shit to the, like. Out before? It was, it so was like, it's sad, it but it was like, a trend. Like, that, that was a very like, big thing to happen. Ago? It was a trend. I about like, nothing, they gained nothing from it. It's been pretty that. open to me. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's good to know, to you know, go good, deeper Norman? into like yeah. the topics for sure, but I kind of expected what would happen. Being here today, it kind of just made at least me feel like I'm with the right person. Like I want to continue this, I want to stick it out and hopefully it goes somewhere. You better not impregnate her by mistake. <laughs> That's what I have to say. <laughs> <Where>? <laughs> me too.